Call Fung Tom, let's go. This is the iRacing uh, official Super Late Model Series fixed. These cars are at um, USA International uh, Speedway, just like the uh, Late Model Stock, the Cars Tour uh, in iRacing. I ran that earlier this week. These Super Late Models are a hell of a lot of fun. Well, here we go, Starting, we just started qualifying. Let's see what we can do. Well, we messed up our second lap. I uh, got on the gas way too hard. Um, that's uh, definitely my fault. Uh, I was I was pushing it there. My first lap was pretty quick though. Um, man, if I wouldn't have pushed wide there, like I I got in the corner a little too hot, pushed wide in the center, and then uh, I just was too tight in the center. I had to put too much yeah. wheel into it and got on the throttle too soon and on the throttle too hard too soon Three, with the wheel cranked as hard two, left as possible one. yeah no it's gonna snap loose right that's what it did so you know I understand what happened why it happened um I, I just I need to be better but all right, let's see. Uh, we should be starting somewhat near the front in the race because uh, that first lap was at least a decent uh, qualifying time. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. The first lap was uh, uh, usually my second lap is better, but um, just because of the old worn-out surface, these cars have a lot of power. You want that little bit more grip of your tires have just a little bit more heat in them so that they're on optimal temperature. Um, but yeah, this. Uh, this is a fun track. I love these cars. Uh, I've been running myself ragged um, these days with the uh, with the racing. Um, I I said at the beginning of the season this this season right here it's a season all about seat time for me. Just coming back and getting into sim racing again. This season is all about seat time for me, and yeah, definitely. Um, I'm getting a lot of seat time in this 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 month. With the uh, with the fifteenth with the fifteenth anniversary i racing thing that's going on, um, I'm running multiple races a day. Um, like yesterday or the day before, I know I came out with four new YouTube videos. Uh, this is another one I'm working on. Um, the only other track car combination that I think I know of that I said I had to hit this week was going is going to be besides this is SK mods at IRP. I already ran trucks at IRP. I already I've I've been running all the uh, Legends car races for the for the anniversary and then the Pontiac races last week. But this week, um, the '87 Cup Series race at Talladega, the Gen Four race at um, New Hampshire. All right, it's race time. Let's uh, let's get on the grid. Let's see. We're starting third. Right up on the inside row. Pit road is closed. We're putting plenty of not fuel bad. We're car number right. eight. But yeah, no, um, just, uh, Yeah. Hope we have a good race here. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. You guys are amazing. Cool looking in the mirror at those cars. Yeah, this stuff is cool. I love this in VR. It's amazing.
And from what you guys see, the angle that you guys see, where it looks like I'm sitting in the car, and you you guys can see, it looks like a, it looks like the on the screen, it looks like you're wearing a helmet. I don't have that exactly in the VR headset, but the VR headset has its own like foam cushioning around the around the sides that give it kind of that that look like. Um, you can see the screen, and then you can see the edges of the screen, like because you can see like the the. The edges where it's all black because of the uh, the foam the foam padding. So while wearing the VR headset, it 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 feels just like wearing a helmet almost. That's the way it looks. But then, um, <clears throat> other than the weight of the helmet being spread out, like the surface area of the helmet where it's putting pressure on your head, with that being like all spread out in a helmet. The VR headset, like, all of the weight, instead of pressing evenly on you, instead of being, like, evenly distributed over, across your head, the weight from the uh, VR headset is basically, like, all the weight is, like, right on your face. Like, right particularly, like, on your nose and, like, on your nose and on your forehead. Um, all right, man, we're going green. And there is a strap that comes around the back of your head, but, like, the entire top of your head is open, so there's no, you don't, you don't feel anything resting against it. The weight of the the weight of the headset is not evenly distributed across your entire head. And um, you guys starting in second or third? All right. Get ready to I go. start first. Yeah. Anyways, the the VR headset is also the one that I have is kind of big and blocky and heavy. Get ready. But here we go. All right, man. Eight cars in. Green, green, green. Outside. Stay low. Still there. You're clear high, clear high. Got one outside. You're clear high, clear high. Got one outside. 26.051, stay low, all clear, all clear. Yeah, the leaders are loose too, coming off the corners. You can see them sometimes flirting with it on the edge out of control there. Leaving some black marks on the pavement with the rear tires coming off the corner. Looks like second place just did the same thing we did the lap before. We need to settle here. Just 
chill out a little bit because we got 80 laps. We're not even 10 laps in. We're on lap 10 now. Because the lap counter shows us what lap we're on, not, not how many we've completed. Sounds pretty quick. Twenty-one oh. Oh, never mind. That's not quick. We're running faster than that. I forgot the series said cautions, holy crap. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't burn everything up trying to catch them then. in a little bit. Okay. Appreciate it. Looks like we're going to be restarting back in third where we started earlier. So we're going to be restarting on the inside of the second row. Me neither. And I we have to get a better restart than we last, it, I guess last route, uh, on, on the initial start. I'd rather hit the guy already crashed and then somebody just trying to avoid it. We, uh, kind of Lost some ground on him. The 26 came down, got in front of us, and then we were battling the with the person that was on our lap or on on our outside for like a couple laps there. I appreciate it. Um, it all happened pretty quick. I don't think we really had much time to do much. We need to stay like right up behind the leader. Maybe we can work our way in a second that way. Although I don't know, staying in third and being in third for a late 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 race restart would probably be really freaking good because we'd be would be on the preferred line on the bottom and not stuck up on the top. I still feel like getting stuck up on the top is bad. Even here, even though there's, even though there are a lot of times there's some pretty good racing in that second groove, the restarts itself being on the outside is just not. You can get a decent run off the corners on the, on, on, in the second groove here, how there's like two different areas where it's dark or the, where the track is dark. Yeah, those two different lanes, those two bottom, the, the the two most bottom lanes of traffic, those uh those two grooves, it's where people will race. But technically, that outer of the two grooves, um, I don't know. I've just never had good luck there on restarts. That dude's driving up in the marbles. I've always wondered if that really actually works. I tried it over at BRL, and I didn't really notice notice much. Kind of just doing it for fun. Doing it for laughs, doing it for memes on the, uh, on the stream, on the Twitch stream. 
Yeah, no, we're restarting in second. We're not restarting in first. But you think we're crazy? I mean... Get ready. Here we go. The base car is in. Green flag, green flag. The leader just did a 49.065, 43.97. Guess that's just what we gotta do. Just try not to make any mistakes. Screwed myself by overdriving a little bit back there. 
I overheated the tires and they're cooling back down. The car is getting fast again. Just got to manage a little bit better than that. It was a little too early to be doing that, not even halfway through the race. That was weird, I just saw a flash in the VR headset. Huh. Reckon. so far. Kid just came in and shoved something right in my face. So, Dad, I dropped this. Twenty-one 
Oh, sorry, this has been rather uneventful, but maybe that's actually good for this week. <laughs> some of the races this week have been a little, a little wild in some ways. Um, right now we're running fourth. The leaders have completely checked out. We're we're back here by ourselves. We got fifth place, like right behind us, just under a second and a half off us. I'm really starting to struggle. 21.439. Yeah. We're just trying to hold our own here. See what we can do. Tires are wearing out as we're getting in the later stages of the race. Car's feeling pretty good coming off the corners. I'm able to get on the gas a lot harder. I mean, maybe not, but that's what it feels like. I think we're reeling in the yellow flag, bro. I don't see any way we're going to get a lap. That's what I'm thinking. Listen, when you do get to us, just let us know where you want us to go. Twenty one point three. 
There's not as much rear weight on the car now, making the car as loose either because we've, we've run quite a bit of fuel out of it probably. A lot less weight in back. Alright man, that car is lap down. 21.52. Okay, let's just see how the rest of this goes. Ryan, I'm going to stay high in the next point. Four, 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 outside. You're clear high, clear high. Thank you, sir. Outside. All clear, all clear. Thank you, thank you as well. 21.834. Back and go ahead. Having y'all lap me, I realized how much I've overdriven my car. 21.475. Got one inside. All clear, all clear. Car's getting really, really tight up the corner. 22.343 I've got to pick and choose my battles. Some of these cars are lapped down. Not gonna I can't I can't wreck myself battling with a lap down car. 21.343 That's just not very good race craft right there. I don't know what that was. I caught him quick over there in turn two though. 21.523. I break way too late for one. Twenty-one 
Flap 77 out of uh, 80. Looking like um, he's two and a half seconds behind me still. I'm number eight and the person that's behind me is number six and he's two and a half seconds behind. We're gonna have to hold on to this for a few more laps. We're on lap 78 now. Good to go. Start in lap 79. Got to hold off the two and a half second gap. That car is a lap now. The leader just did a 21.33. White flag. White flag. This time by. One more to go. All right, man. That car is a lap now. I would have preferred to not have to pass the lap car on the outside. He's probably going to let Corey go on the inside, which means Corey's going to grab some time on us. We're going to be good, though, as long as we can go. Yeah, three seconds behind. We're good. We're good. We got this. It was good run. Out of four, four nice and finish. easy here to the checkered with a fourth place finish. Hell yeah. Yeah, you too. My car just Hell yeah. Jet. Fourth place finish. There's the checkered. Yeah, like I said, when the leaders passed us, I realized how much we were out of a total of... I caught them in the corners every time when they lapped us, and then they pulled away. drivers. Fourth out of 12. We'll bring the car back to the pits here. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Fourth place out of 12 cars. Car, I started, uh, my, my car number was car number eight. So I was the eighth highest. Uh, I was an eighth as far as I rating goes. Coming into the session, finished fourth out of a 12 car field. Not bad. All right, that's it, go. Qualified third. So I only lost one spot in the race. Had a pretty decent pace right from the very beginning. I uh, was like second or third in practice, and then uh, third in qualifying, and then finished fourth in the race. Uh, yeah, not bad. We had a pretty good pace all race. Uh, I was losing. I was losing out to the leaders there, and definitely in that second half of the race, big time. They they just checked out. Um, I have to see if I can save tires a little bit better here. But thank you guys so much for watching. All my viewers, all my subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for chilling, hanging out with me, watching my videos. Those of you that don't know, I stream on Twitch um, as well. The night is Friday night. You guys will be seeing this video on Saturday. I'll be racing at BRL both Friday and Saturday. So when you guys see this video tomorrow, when this video goes live tomorrow, I will be racing that night as well. Um, I'll be streaming on Twitch. I've got my Twitch streaming schedule up on Twitch, so you guys can check out my schedule on my Twitch channel. Um, I really have to make sure that I put it in the descriptions of these uh, videos. I will, I'll, I'll try to get that in if I remember when I'm editing the video and uploading it. I will get that in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Thank you for all the support. My, t the team that I'm on, Texas Speed Sim Racing. You guys are amazing. Uh, some of you guys have been friends for a long, long time with, um, going all the way back 15 years. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys on the team. You guys are amazing. You guys are like brothers to me. Uh, it's awesome having you guys as friends for so long, and uh, you know I hope to see the hope to see the team grow and hope to see us all you know continue to perform pretty good. Um, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you have bad nights, but thank you guys so much for your support. Love you guys. Hope to see you guys watching the next video.